Now that we have learned to perform CRUD operation using Spring Data JPA, let us move on to derived queries. Why do we need derived queries? Say for example, if you want to query the database to get the list of books by author or to get the list of books by category, we need derived queries. Derived queries are queries which are derived or generated from the properties. So for that, we need to write the appropriate framework in Spring. Spring J Data JPA internally converts them into JPQL queries, Java Persistence Query Language. What is the difference? In case of native query, you write the query as select star from book where author equal to some name. In case of JPQL, your JPQL query looks like select star from book where author equal to question mark 1. This one represents the placeholder of the value. You usually write it with the help of prepared statement. Here in JPQL, the prepared statement gets generated automatically. Okay, fine. How to write the methods so that the derived queries get generated? The method has a specific syntax. It has to either start with read by or find by or get by followed by the property name. The property name should be in first letter capital. Say for example, read by author by passing string author as parameter and find by category by passing string category as parameter, find by title, by passing string title as parameter. So, when you write read by author, by passing author as parameter, this data JPA internally generates a JPQL, which is nothing but select star from book where author equal to question mark 1. 1 is the placeholder, the value for the placeholder is taken from the parameters. Similarly, for find by category, select star from book where category equal to question mark 1. For the value of 1, it is going to take the value from the parameter. Now, two things you need to remember when you are working with this particular queries. The property that you are passing should be proper. That is the first letter should be in capital. Then there should not be any typo in case of the property. Say for example, instead of category, if I have given cat giri, then I will get an exception saying that there is no property with the name category. So these are the things that you need to remember when you are working with derived queries. These are basic derived queries. There are different combinations available in case of derived queries. Say for example, I want to get the list of books where the price is less than a particular amount. Then I can write the query as find by price less than. If I want to get the list of books by author and category, then I can write the query as find by author and category. I will show you the different combinations from the documentation. You can pick and choose any of this and you can use those methods in your application. So here you can see that this is the Spring Data JPA documentation wherein I have got query creation, find distinct by last name and first name. The corresponding JPQL is select distinct star from table x where x dot last name equal to question mark 1, x dot first name equal to question mark 1. Similarly, find by first name and last name, find by first name or last name, then find by age less than, what I told was find by price less than, age less than equal. So, there are few other methods which you can just browse through. Now, let us try this out in our application. Let me go to the repository. So here, let us start with the derived queries. In case of CRUD operation, we didn't write any method in the repository because we were using the inbuilt methods of JPA repository or CRUD repository. In case of derived queries, it is mandatory that you need to write the query all by yourself. So let me write find by author by passing string author as parameter. The return type should be a list of books. List book. Similarly, read by. You can either use read by or find by or get by. Just for learning purpose, here I have used read by. But I always prefer to use find by. So here it is read by category. String category. The return type is list of book. 
then let me also have find by author and category string author comma string category the return type is a list of books and let me also add one method for price find by price less than by passing double price this also has to return me a list of books similar to this you can also add different combinations by using the properties remember the property name should be proper let me import list now i will copy all these four methods let me move to the service layer in ibook service let me add these derived queries and in this case in case of service layer i would prefer to use get by get by and here you can see get by there is a typo let me go and change it here i have given find by b should be capital letter if you are missing that then it will throw an exception in ibook service now again i am coming here i am changing it to get by price less than so here guys you can have any method name it is your choice but in case of repository it is mandatory that you need to follow the standards only then the data jpa can convert it into the appropriate jpql queries fine now i'll save this let me implement it in book service impl all the four methods we need to call let me write it return book repository dot find by author by passing author as parameter next one book repository dot read by category by passing category as parameter and for this find by author and category so it should be somewhere here yeah by passing author and category and for this book repository dot find by price less than by passing price as parameter okay now we have implemented all the methods now let us move on to the main class i am commenting the other methods which we have seen in the previous example now let us start with derived queries now let us check the table also in the database i have added few more records in my database so with that let us start querying it first is i want to get the list of books by author this get by author so the method called is book service dot get by author by passing kathy i do have kathy dot for each so here you can either print all the properties of book or you can pick and choose what you want to print then let me try to print get book by category let us call the method get by category see here it is get by category it is get by category by passing comic i do have comic so i am passing comic then next get by author and category so let me call the method get by author and category by passing kathy and tech and the last one is get by price so here it is price less than so let me give the base price as 1000 get by price less than 1000 okay so in for the last one let me print only the book title and author so here it is book arrow method body so so i'll print the title book dot get title author plus book dot get author book is already there so let me just give a different name v book v book dot get author fine i am commenting this also so let me save it and run the application so here we have got the output let me just put it this side so first is get the list of books by author i have got only one entry you can see over here it is 
2 book with an id 2 then get by category in case of category i have got two entries category comic book id 5 and book id 6 then get by author and category i gave kathy and tech so again i am having only one entry that is this one then next is get by price get the list of books where the price is less than 1000 so you can see the corresponding query that is getting generated so you can see select book dot book id as book id book dot author as author so you can just see the complete query i will show you that also so in case of price we were trying to print only the title and author so it is printing only the title and author where the price is less than 1000 so we are having three entries harper captain cook kathy java in action and tintin harper so this is how we work with derived queries there are different combinations which you can use when you are working with derived queries and you can also see the corresponding SQL, SQL statement that is getting generated. That's it.